All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on fixing one issue regarding search and pagination. So, a few of the viewers have already mentioned about this issue. So, first of all, let me show you what the issue is. To make it simpler, let me just show one users per page. So, for that, let me go to user controller over here. And on the paginate method, let me pass one. Now, we just see one user per page. Now if I search for the term A and we see the list of users whose name contain the letter A but here you notice that the pagination is broken, right? So for temporary fix, let me go to search method that we have already created. Over here on the paginate method, let's pass 1 as well. Now if I search for the term A again, then we see 15 users, right? But if I click on the next page, we see this 15 users. But if I click on page 2, then our pagination is broken, right? It is showing every users. So this is the exact issue we are getting. So throughout this video, we will be fixing this exact issue. So let's get started. Okay, let me go to user list dot view file. And while searching for the user, we have created separate method called search, right? So instead of creating that separate method, let me merge that with get users method. So let me find for the method called search and we will not be using this method. So here instead of calling the search method on when the search query is sensed, we'll be calling the method called get users. Okay. And we will completely remove this method. And also you have noticed we were passing the query parameters call query and for the value is search query dot value we'll do the same but we'll be using this instead of get users so let me remove this method from here let me search for get users and over here we'll pass those parameters okay let's indent it now we don't need that source endpoint so let me remove that source endpoint from here let me go to user controller and then we'll receive that query parameters here so let me die and dump request query let me open up the console let me go to network tab let me search for the term a and we receive that value right and we don't need this method as well so let me copy everything from here let me remove this method let me go to that index method let me paste that and let me modify it a bit here let's add a query so that we can move this to the next line we need the latest item as well and we need pagination as well right now i can remove this let me remove this as well here we'll not be receiving the source term every time so we need to add the conditional so let's say when we have query in our request then we'll run this closure and inside this we can pass eloquent query builder and as a second argument we can pass source query and inside this we can do query and let me copy this Let me add semicolon and here we are saying that if we have query in our request then we will run this code otherwise by default it will be latest and then paginate and it will return the user and we don't need this as well now let me refresh this let me close this let me search for the term a we have this 15 users right if i click on next page then this is not broken which is great if i remove this now by default we have 24 users which is fine now we can remove this pagination and by default it will be 15 if i refresh it and everything is working perfectly fine so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one